ladies, this is Vivian. How are you? Hope you all are all doing fine. I hope you're still pumped up for the new year. Hope you got your plan written down, your plan to work and work the plan. Amen. Hey, I just wanted to come to you in light of all the things that's been going on in the news lady, lately about misconduct. And I want to read this scripture to you, Isaiah 520, which says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that turn darkness into light and light into darkness, bitter into sweet and sweet into bitter. Uh, you can find that in Isaiah 5 and 20. But my biggest thing, it really kind of put me in a mood because there was so many, with all of the allegations that are out there of uh, sexual misconduct and um, fraud, and those are not in the same, well, I guess it is fraud, though. Um, just all the misdeeds and, and bad things that are going on out there. People um, are just doing what whatever they feel like they're big and bad enough to do. And I think a big part of that is because nobody ever says anything. Nobody challenges that. And I know we got some big cases that are currently being challenged. But at the same time, you know, people are saying, no, I didn't do anything or I can do that. Or according to the law, you know, I'm, I'm exempt or I'm immune from this or I'm immune from that. But think about this, and which I think about all the time is, what if everybody who saw something would say something? I think that would combat a whole lot of the misdeeds that go on in our world today. Instead of dragging people all through court, well, they will get dragged through court if they're doing something wrong, but, um, you know, like the essays, you know, sexual abuse, uh, physical abuse, mental abuse, you know, that are done to young people and to women and to men, you know, what if people just stood up and said, you know what, this is not good. This is pure evil and we ain't going to tolerate it. But instead, the power of sex and money and greed is powerful, you know, because it draws so many people in. And the victims get stuck in a place where um, they don't know how to get out. You know, the people that they looked up to, uh, the people that they admired, um, you know, they're not there to help because they are participants in this. And I don't know where the families of these uh, men and women are. I don't know um, where their friends are, or even if they have any friends outside of where they are. But we in a woe time, you know, woe, W-H-W-O-E, a woe time where it seems like everybody, whatever was in the dark is coming to the light. And um, mainly for the young people, um, we need to school our kids. Um, our people feel some kind of way about church. There's a whole lot of stuff going on in the church as well. and um, But we need to say something about that too. Because it's time out. Too many of our young people are going in wrong directions. Everybody looking for stardom and fame. I mean, the music that we listen to is like off the chain. We hear all these rumors, you know, that we're doing mantras and we're doing chats and Satan exists and Satan exists. But yet and still, we're still buying the music. We're still streaming the music. We're still going to the concerts. We're still participating in in supportive roles of this type of behavior. And somehow or another, things have got to change around. And I think, personally, this is just my opinion, that's exactly what God is doing. He pulling the covers of everybody who's not walking like they're supposed to be walking, talking like they're supposed to be talking, and doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, whether you're in the church house, the white house, the owl house, or whatever house you're in. I think God is swiping off the covers on it. And we need to pay attention and be prayerful, but not just prayerful. 
We need to do something. We need to do something about it. We need to show our kids, look, everything that's going on out there, you can't participate in. You got to be careful about who you hang out with. My mom used to always say, oh, you can't go over there. I don't want you hanging out with these people. Or you can't do this because it will shed damage your character, for lack of a better term. And we need to be a little bit more concerned about that, you know, and teach our children the same thing. And there are plenty of examples that they are well aware of and you are well aware of. And we need to be honest and open and say something about what we're seeing. Calling things for what they are. You know, if we see something, we need to be saying something. Because I, it just hurts my heart, <coughs> excuse me, when I think of all the young people. Or, yeah, young people or people, individuals who are abused um, and feel like they have nobody that can come and help them to get out of a bad situation. Then, yeah, they probably got themselves in. They probably were lured in by the glitz and the glamour, but they still need help. And I believe that as children of God and as Christians, we should be the one that they could be able to come to and talk to about it and get some help about it. Because as long as we're living, we still have breath in our body. We got the ability to Google a shelter or Google um, assistance or Google how to help a person who's been through this or been through that. I think many of us have that ability. So I really wanted to talk about that briefly. And I hope this was briefly because uh, it's just this, it's alarming how much stuff is just coming out every day about evil that people are doing and, and dressing up as if it was good. Just because it feels good don't mean it is good. And somehow or another, we got to raise up a next generation that recognizes that. Oh my God, I got so many things to say, but I'm just going to cut it off right now. I want to encourage you. You can do this. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid of anybody. Don't be afraid. If it needs to be said, say it. If they get their feelings hurt, oh well, so sad, too bad, get over it. Because if they are hurting somebody, they'll hurt somebody else. So that's my message for today, y'all. If you see something, you say something. And everything that feels good, that looks good, ain't good. Y'all have a wonderful day and make the commitment to be a silent Christian no more. And hey, hit that like button, the subscribe button, and make a comment. Because I know you got something to say. Thank y'all. Have a wonderful day.